Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 2 end of course practice test question number 48. And usually I do these on uh, my board where you can actually see the words a lot better and I'm doing this with a top-down camera. The reason for full disclosure is that the calculator that they provided to us to use or TA Texas Instruments provided that we use on the screen doesn't do all the stuff that a T84 Plus can do. And I wanted to make sure that you saw what everything looked like on the actual calculator. I should also mention that I wasn't preparing to shoot this way today so you'll see that I'm, my cuffs look like I'm wearing a hoodie that's because I am wearing a hoodie so sorry but anyway I did I did want to show you how to do the problem correctly so we're gonna do it that way now question number 48 is a summation question it says uh, that our sequence is set up in such a way that our term our end term or whatever would be negative 8 times 1 half raised to the k power and we're gonna do the summation of the sequence starting at uh, plugging in 2 to where we go to plugging in 6 so this should be a five term sequence essentially what that means is that we're gonna have negative 8 times one-half raised to the second power and we're going to add it to negative eight times one-half raised to the third plus negative eight times one-half raised to the fourth power plus negative eight times one-half raised to the fifth power plus negative eight times one-half raised to the 6th power. So as you can see, we're taking the sequence that they give us, or the generic term, plugging in 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, because it told us to go from 2 to 6. And all you have to do is, I mean, if you want to write them all down, that's fine. Uh, you could just go in and do negative 8, 1 half, oops, negative 8, 1 half, raised to the 2nd power, plus negative 8, 1 half, raised to the third power. And by the way, if you don't want to do it this way and you just like to write out the terms for each one of them, that's completely fine. And I forgot to click over, so I need to go back and fix that. Plus negative 8 times 1 half raised to the fourth power plus negative 8 times 1 half raised to the fifth power plus negative 8 times 1 half raised to the sixth power. So basically I just created a sequence where I have all the parts in there going from two to six. And if I hit enter, it should give me the right answer. And it does. Negative 3.875, which is of course F. So that's one way you can do it. I mean, you can just write them all out and solve it. I mean, most of the ones that they're going to give you on the end of course test are not particularly long, so you should be pretty safe. Um, the next thing that you could do is actually use, if you have a T84 Plus anyway, and the 83 Plus might do this as well, I'm not really sure, is just get them to sum, it, it puts things in some uh, summation notation for you. I don't know why I can't speak today. All you have to do to do that is go to the math button right there, should pop up this menu, and you have an extra choice that it doesn't show, which is to hit zero. So once you do that, it gives you perfect, if you can see it, uh, notation for summation. So for the in front of the equal sign, you need to tell that you want to use the variable x. Go over and hit 2. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on this. Nope, my calculator, or my camera won't even do that today. 6. Then you need to go over inside, so maybe you can see it pretty well. You get the 6 and the 2 on the bottom, and x equals in front of the 2. And then you just type in negative 8 times one and a half raised to the x power just to tell it what you want click out just a little bit maybe and then hit enter and it gives you the summation so that so it's nice just hit math and zero type in everything like it's supposed to make sure you plug in x before your equal sign to tell it that's the variable you're using and then you can do it that way well if you don't have a t84 plus or your t84 plus won't do it there is another way that you can do it which is to create the sequence first and then do the the sum so in order to do that you need to go into second stat and then you need to click over and go down to number five that says SEQ that would be sequence so we're gonna hit enter here I'm gonna type in the uh, the first thing I need to type in is the actual generic term so negative eight one divided by two raised to the x power then you need to make sure that you click over from here I'm going to tell it what the variable is that I'm going to use so I'm going to go down and hit the comma button which is right above 7 so I can separate it click the X to tell it that's the variable and then I'm ready to type in the next term so hit comma again type in the first uh, term that you're going to put in so in this case 2 or where it's the sequence starts what term and sequence you want to start with then hit comma again and then tell it you want it to stop on the sixth sequence or the sixth term in sequence, I'm sorry. Close it out, and then it will actually create the sequence for you. It should match if you do each individual term. This negative two is what the first term is, and second, and that whole thing. Now, 
that's the sequence, but I need to know what the sum of it is, or how, what would be the sum from the second term to the sixth term. So I'm going to go and hit second stat again, click over to the math menu, and you see that sum is there. So you hit enter. Then you need to just click up and choose the sequence so it knows what you're talking about. Hit enter, and it should click out the sequence and all the data that you put in in front of the sum. Hit enter again and it'll tell you that the sum of all would be negative 3.875, which is what we found it to be earlier. Any of these ways are perfectly appropriate. I'm sorry about my shoddy dressing for today, but I mean, it's the weekend, whatever. And uh, I just wanted to make sure I got this up so that you could see it. Uh, try all of them, find out what works best for you, and then go for your answer. So good luck.